If you were presented with the choice to compete in Nazi Germany or to make a stand, what would you do? Today we're at Brennan Theaters watching Race. Race is the true story of Jesse Owens, the Olympian. This movie is kind of hard to classify because it's based off a true story. The pacing of the movie probably could have been tweaked a little bit because there are parts in the movie where a little slow where they focus a little too long on something that I don't feel was important and not long enough on something that I did feel was important. It happened a couple times during the movie, so it was kind of flip-flopped a little bit. Now at the same time, they did a good job of showing both sides of the story, so showing it from the Olympic Association's side and also showing it from Jesse Owens and his coach's side. I had heard the name, but I didn't actually know the story or anything he accomplished or where he came from or anything like that. It was interesting to watch the movie and it was very fascinating. One of the points of this movie that I found very difficult is that it's based right before World War II so when Nazi Germany was starting to grow. It's that time period where watching events unfold is kind of unsettling. You've got the duality of it. You've got it happening in, in Germany. Everything with the Jews and all that horrible stuff is happening. And then you've also got the racism at home where everything's happened with the African Americans and things like that. You get a little double dose of it here where you're sitting through uncomfortable situations. We all know what happened and we, we, we know the history. It's hard to watch because because our sensibilities now are thankfully so much different, know that going into this movie that they are going to portray those concepts on, on screen and they are going to be a little uncomfortable. Now, the actors that play Jesse Owens, uh, the coach, the gentleman from the Olympic Association, both gentlemen from the Olympic Association, it was they actually very good. I wasn't bored with any of them. I will say that the person that played Jesse Owens and the person that played the coach didn't look anything like the actual people. They show the actual people at the end of the movie, and I'm like, that doesn't look anything like the actors they chose to portray them. But they don't necessarily have to. You like Jesse Owens, and you, you want to root for him, and I think that's very important in movies like this, where you're following one character throughout a chain of events is you want to be on that person's side. You like Jesse Owens, you like the coach overall, and you want to see them succeed. And of course, having the ultimate villain on the other side being Nazi Germany doesn't doesn't hurt the situation either because it's, you can't get a, a more, more horrible villain than, than Nazi Germany. I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. I feel it was very entertaining. I feel that it was well acted. I was intrigued from the beginning to the end. It loses a little bit because of the pacing, but if you're looking for a true story and you've seen the trailer and it looks intriguing to you, I would definitely suggest seeing it. It was well made. So let's see what our other sprinters had to say. I really enjoyed it. It's slow paced, but um, it's the kind of story that kind of lends itself to that. There definitely were some bits that could have been tightened up a bit, but I did enjoy the story as a whole. I'm a big fan of true life stories. This was right up my alley. Generally, I find that they can take one of two directions. Either they diverge a lot from real life and thus make the story seemingly more movie friendly and you can really enjoy it as like a film, or they sort of stick more to the fact and, then, and it becomes can become a little more boring some in some ways because it's more like you're watching an, an educational film. This film, I feel like, went a little towards the latter. There are sequences that, especially in the early half of the movie, like maybe the first third of the movie, it's not quite jelly. And it doesn't really seem to be, you know, moving quickly. It's just not happening. You're not having the feel. Not the best history sports related movies I've ever seen. It does have a few pacing issues. However, it is very straight to the point. It addresses race issues, which by the way, the title race isn't just an Olympic race. It's about the human race. It's about race of white, blacks. I think that title has a lot of meaning to it. And I think it's so simple yet has a broad various definitions for the film itself. What I love about it most is how it's not afraid to address the problems that in America, that were in America and in Germany back in the day. And as far as the, the technical aspects of the film goes, my favorite scene, being a visual effects guy, is when Jesse Owens walks into the stadium for the first time, one long continuous shot all the way up to the point where he puts on his shoes and gets on the track and the race begins. And I think, I think Stephen Hopkins purposely did that as an homage, partly as an homage to Gladiator. When we, want, when we follow Maximus into that Gladiator Stadium. The cinematography was great. They did a really good job of making you feel like I think they wanted you to feel. When um, Jesse Owens enters the Olympic Stadium for the first time, you really get a feel of what that probably felt like. There was parts of the movie that were definitely uncomfortable. And as a um, theater major, I've always been told that good art should make you uncomfortable so that you can see another person's point of view or change an opinion. And um, it definitely did that. Once the race kicks in, it really just 
ramps it up. And, and it's exciting, it's fun, you're energized. Even though it's based on true events, there are still some surprises to be had. And probably what I enjoyed the most are really the moral quandary. People in this movie are faced with uh, choices that even we knowing how things turned out, we can kind of question like, is this the right choice to make? You know, is this really what's best for this character, the country? A lot of themes hidden in there that if you pay attention really closely, it's not just about the Olympics and race between blacks and whites. There's a lot of other, a lot of themes in there that if you pay close attention, you'll be like, wow, the writers really gave this a lot of thought. So on a scale of one to 10, what would you give it in what? I'd give it an eight, mostly for the pacing, because it was a little slow. The cinematography is great though, and I enjoyed, I enjoyed that a lot. The acting I thought was really well done. It was, they were um, appropriate for the characters they were playing. I give it a solid eight. I think it's definitely worth seeing. It's not among the best, you know, true life movies that I've seen. And I've seen quite a, quite a few. I think it's still a really important film. I think it is enjoyable. The acting is on par. Just the look of it, it really takes you to that time and place. So it's, it's still a solid eight in my book. I'm gonna give this an eight because this, while this did have a few pacing issues, especially with exposition, there was point to it. But with some people, you might lose them a little bit. You're like, oh, when are we gonna get to the race? When are we gonna get to the Olympic stuff? Other than that, well done movie, well acted, well shot, visual effects, nothing too special, but that long shot him entering in the stadium was almost was completely flawless in my opinion. So we'd like to know, what is your favorite Olympic Games-based film? Leave that in the comment section below. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with your friends. We definitely appreciate it. And remember, you heard it here at The Source.